What's going on guys, Krahu here, and good god, it's been a while. I got a, it took me like an hour to get all these goddamn spiderwebs off my microphone. What's up guys, I'm back uh, with some, yeah, Call of Duty. What do you think about that? This is literally one of my first games coming back to Black Ops 3, but first and foremost, to, the, to all of you that are left here, I hope that uh, everything's been fine, because everything's been fine with me. I The reason why I kind of stopped uploading for a while, first of all, I had a room renovation that I had to, you know, get through. Uh, results are awesome. Uh, and work has been very, very busy over the, the uh, past couple of months, so I just did not have time. And, you know, I just wanted to enjoy gaming for what it was, you know, after work. I would just get on, let's say, Call of Duty or Battlefield or whatever other game, and I would be really kind of stressed out to get some content out. But I decided to take it easy and just, you know, go with the flow. Whatever happens, happens. And I know that there's going to be at least some of you still watching this video. So to the few of you remaining, thank you so much for being here. If you could click a like on this video, that would be absolutely fantastic. Hopefully you like the quality. I got a new TV, you know, the room is kind of pimped out, so I'm going to share some uh, pictures soon here on the good old Twitter, so be sure to follow me as well. Um, I've been, as I said before, I've been following every single thing in regards to Call of Duty World War II. Yes, it's awesome that they're going back to uh, World War II. I kind of, I kind of hoped, well, not really hoped, but I thought they would do, uh, whatchamacallit, World War I, for whatever reason, just to compete with Battlefield, but they didn't. They literally went to their roots and decided to go back to World War II, which is fantastic. Lots of guns, um, you know, lots of automatic weapons, which people should be happy. No more, you know, boots jumping bullshit, boots on the ground. It's going to be awesome. So over these past few months, I've only been playing Battlefield 1, um, you know, Horizon, Dark Souls 3 DLC, shit like that. And it's really refreshing to take a step back from Call of Duty. And I took a big ass break. This was the biggest and longest break ever in history of me playing this game. I I at least eight months or so. You know, the videos that I uploaded here and there were just one-offs. I did not have a proper session um, in in eight months, maybe <laughs> close to close to ten even, if not longer. No, what the fuck am I talking about? Black Ops Three came out in 2015. I didn't even play Infinite Warfare, so we're talking close to a year. Since I got bored of Black Ops 3 about a year ago, uh, Remaster and Infinite Warfare, they just didn't do it for me. So th since then, I just quit Call of Duty. And before, back in the day, it would be insane for me to do so. Because I love this franchise, but I got so burnt out that the people who still play this, like on a religious daily basis, I don't know how you guys do it. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's because of enjoyment and whatnot, but oh my good god. Um, but this game, Black Ops 3, it just caught second win with me. After not playing for so long, it literally felt like coming back home. It's awesome. I mean, I I must have put in at least another 24 hours in the past couple of days. Well, not a couple of days, but in the past five days on this game. It's, it's great. It's awesome. It was like this crack addiction again uh, to Call of Duty. That's why it was very nice and very refreshing to go back because I was only playing Battlefield 1. You know, as far as FPSs go and a bunch of other games, I did not even think of Call of Duty. But when the hype gets closer and closer with World War II, I was like, okay, so I, I wonder what they're going to do. And I, I'm not watching Infinite Warfare videos. I don't give a shit about the DLC. I don't care about the remaster. Black Ops 3 I enjoyed, so clearly I'm going to go back to it. And a part of me was like, I wonder if people still play this. You know, I wonder if, if I'm going to be able to find a lobby. Now, obviously I would, uh, because the game is not that old, but I wonder if it was as good as I remember, and goddamn right it was. It was very nice. I suggest if you guys are burnt out with Call of Duty, if you're playing and forcing yourself to do so, um, I say quit now and fucking go back to it when World War II comes out. That's going to get that spark going again. I just got so... I was just so done with the entire franchise. I was just so disillusioned. That's why the video suffered as well. Uh, I didn't want to release the same old shit. I, I felt forced kind of to play it, so I just fucking quit. There ain't nothing wrong with that, you know what I mean? Uh, I know that there's going to be at least some of you still remaining and giving a crap about my opinion about Call of Duty World War II. 
um, which I will go into details in my next video because uh, I want to talk about it. But I do have high hopes. Initially, I was kind of a dick skeptic to it, to them. Uh, I thought to myself, well, yeah, they're probably going to find a way to get some sort of jetpacks going or wall running into alternate version of World War II. But there have been, you know, confirmed reports that, no, nope, it's just boots on the ground. It's going to be Call of Duty World War II. And hopefully it's going to be executed perfectly. I cannot wait for all the, you know, Normandy-themed maps and European-themed maps and maybe North African-themed maps. Because World War II, of course, is a global conflict. Um, maybe some Asian-inspired maps or whatnot. It's going to be great. That's, of course, if that's the direction that they're going to. Uh, and you know NBA playoffs are coming up so the you know the the thing that they always done was get the reveal trailer during NBA playoffs so we might get a trailer in a couple of weeks maybe even sooner it's going to be awesome so that's why I, I kind of felt that spark a week ago about a week ago or so I was like, you know what? I wonder how Call of Duty is. And I got back uh, on Black Ops 3 and it's just so goddamn good. That's how you do Call of Duty. You know, aside from the bullshit jumping, whatever bullshit. Um, Black Ops 3 was just a good goddamn Call of Duty. I know a bunch of people didn't like it, but I did. And it was a pleasure going back to it. And I'm itching to play it right now. It was good. That almost a year's break from, you know, hardcore Call of Duty is exactly what I needed. So now I feel like it was a two-year cycle. Because again, I didn't give a shit about Infinite Warfare, so I just didn't play it. And Call of Duty Black Ops 3 came out in 2015, so it's going to be two years this November. I'm excited, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. 37-3 is the final score, it's good to be back. See you guys next time.